the um, this is how to calculate a rune the rune indicator so I have here um, I have a rune plotted here uh, this is Google and uh, it's pretty useful it's a pretty useful indicator uh, it's composed out of two lines here one is the the red one is the rune up and this green one is the a rune down I know the the colors are kind of contradicting but um, so basically uh, whenever the rune up crosses the rune down it just means the you want to stay long and whenever a rune down uh, crosses a rune up it just means you want to stay short for that period so as you can see here uh, for Google we had a nice um, we've had a nice rally uh, for when this uh, rune up was was uh, telling us to stay long and a little nice uh, downtrend when the rune down uh, was telling us to short it so you can see it's a pretty useful indicator uh, relatively easy to, to calculate we just need uh, six extra columns from your um, current data so I just copied the the same data into a new sheet uh, to calculate so once you've downloaded your data into Excel uh, the very first thing we're going to need is the, to calculate the highest high in n plus 1 periods so basically what that means uh, usually for the rune uh, n equals 20 but I mean you could you could play around with this uh, make it make it uh, different values but one thing to keep in mind is um, for uh, what this means is uh, basically we're going to find the highest high in 20 periods but we're going to we're gonna plot whatever value we get to the to the very next period. So that's what that plus one means. So basically, it's uh, it's a max function I'm trying to find the max in 20 values, and whatever we get out of these 20, we're gonna plot it in the next one. So we're gonna basically exclude that row, that value from that uh, the current the current row. Just fill in the rest, and then uh, the very next column is a uh, period since high is high in column G. So basically, what this number is going to tell us is how many days have gone by uh, since this uh, value was last, um, since we actually hit that highest high. So um, it's basically uh, the n plus one. So in this case, it's going to be 21 minus and we're gonna have to write a match function so basically match this value here and then comma and then you're gonna highlight um, where it is to be found a comma and then zero close the parentheses Okay, so it's telling us that uh, 18 days have gone have gone by, and if we do, let's double check here. So 695. So basically, that's uh, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 16, 17, 18. So as you can see, uh, 18 is correct. So fill in the rest, and then uh, for column I, it's just uh, uh, n minus uh, column H divided by n times 100. Okay, so this is ba this whatever value we get here is going to be our uh, rune up. All right, so we need parentheses, two parentheses, two open parentheses, n equals 20 minus the value we got here uh, close the parentheses because we want to calculate that first divided by n which is 20 and then close the parentheses and then multiply all that by 100 alright so in this case uh, there's a 10% basically it's telling us 10% so as you can see um, that 
it's uh, it's it's not it's not indicating it's not indicating a strong um, it's not indicating a strong performance on the stock since it's 10 if it were a 100 however um, it would it would mean that we would really want to stay long because there's fewer days that have gone by when uh, of when that highest high was made so these days should have relatively high values for a rune up so just fill in the rest and as you see here uh, for these values which are one we, really, we get uh, high rune values alright so now we repeat the same process but now we're, we're trying to calculate a rune down so basically instead of the highest high we're trying to find the lowest low in n plus one periods so basically a min function again 20 values excluding that rows fill in the rest uh, period since lowest low I'm calling J uh, so basically the same thing we did here I'm gonna have to write a match function so 21 and then match match 636 and then highlight the values where it's going to be found uh, zero so we have eight days so let's see 636 which is here it's one two three four five six seven eight so it's correct double click fill in the rest now um same thing, uh, n equals 20, so oh, two open parentheses, 20 minus, um, minus column k, close one parentheses, divided by 20, uh, close the parentheses, and then multiply that by 100, you get 60. So you see here, um, just by looking at these two values, 60 and 10, you see that how uh, there's relatively... Um, there's more downside basically um, factoring in than there is of upside that's why they move uh, opposite of each other so uh, to fill in the rest now we're gonna pl uh, plot them so you want your date close a rune up and a rune down Go. Just gonna move it to a new, new sheet. I think I opened one. Let me move this to a new sheet. So you can see here, um, it's relatively easy to calculate. Uh, you see it here again, uh, Rune up. We get a little nice uptrend uh, until it crosses here. Uh, it's showing a weakness. And then uh, um, it's basically showing um, relatively it's a, that a Rune up is basically outperforming a, a Rune down um, for, for this. Uh, uptrend on Google. Alright, so I hope this helped out. Uh, you can play with this um, by uh, uh, switching n to different values. See what you guys can get. Um, you could even uh, plot buy signals, sell signals, and see what you come up with. Uh, those work really nice for a room. Uh, other than that, uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments, and I uh, hope this helps. Alright, thanks for watching.